Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A new study has identified the gene responsible for drug resistance in malaria. The most common form of malaria treatment is called artemisinin combination therapy, or ACT. Though it's effective against the disease, ACT-resistant forms of malaria are becoming more common throughout Southeast Asia. But, thanks to an international team led by researchers at the University of Notre Dame in Indiana, that could all change very soon. Researchers have identified a gene called PF Kelch 13, which controls the production of the enzyme that enables the malaria parasites to resist ACT. The research is now moving into the second phase, developing drugs capable of blocking PF Kelch 13 or disrupting the production of the enzyme and destroying the parasite's ACT resistance. This study is published in the journal Nature. Next up, scientists have built a system that represents a major breakthrough in the development of artificial photosynthesis. Scientists at UC Berkeley and the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory have created what they call a nanowire bacteria hybrid, a system that combines nanowire semiconductors and a population of an anaerobic bacteria called Sporomusa ovata to mimic the natural process of photosynthesis. Natural photosynthesis produces carbohydrates from sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. The Berkeley system uses these same basic ingredients, but produces acetate, which can then be used to synthesize a whole variety of chemicals, including butanol and amorphodiene, which is a precursor to artemisinin, the key component of ACT, the malaria treatment I mentioned in the previous story. Once this technology is refined to the point of being commercially viable, its potential applications are virtually limitless. The research is published in the journal Nano Letters. And finally, physicists from Russia and Australia have created objects that are totally invisible in the microwave range using conventional materials. Much recent invisibility research has focused on the use of metamaterials, which can be used to bend the light in unusual ways to hide objects from view. But metamaterials can also be expensive and difficult to fabricate. Now, a team of physicists from Russia's ITMO University and Yoffa Institute and the Australian National University have constructed a homogeneous cylinder, no layers of metamaterial coating it, that is invisible in the microwave range. The invisibility is the result of scattering cancellation, which occurs when light is refracted from an object at opposing wavelengths, which cancel each other out. The researchers were able to achieve the effect in the microwave range, but in principle, there's no reason why it shouldn't work in other ranges as well, including the visible range. It's all a matter of finding a material with the right refractive index. This research is published in the journal Scientific Reports. Researchers make an important breakthrough in the fight against drug-resistant malaria. Scientists construct an artificial photosynthesis system, and physicists construct an object that is invisible in the microwave range. That's the good news. All done. All done.